People are holding you up to this standard, you know, you are this and this and this and you have this title and this title and this title and you're amazing. Challenge yourself to live up to that standard that people are holding you to. You know, if you go home and you say, man, people think I'm great, but I'm actually not, try to actually be great. And it's not for the people. It's not for people to say, you know, Shireen Salama was great. But it's for me to improve myself so Allah can say Shireen Salama was great. For me to take the standard that you put me at and to try to actually achieve it. Not for you, but for Allah. And the second thing is that for every public deed that you do in the eyes of people, that you double that in your private, in your private life, in your private ibadah. That man, if you prayed in the masjid, try to pray at home when no one else can see you besides Allah. Try to wake up when everyone's asleep, in the dark, just you and Allah, create that relationship. And the third, and this is a du'a that was taught to us by Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu, he used to receive praise and there was this beautiful du'a that he used to say. And it goes, Allahumma ghfir li ma la ya'lamun, waj'alni khayran mimma yadhunnun. Which translates to, O oh Allah, forgive me for what they do not know about me, and make me better than what they think that I am. Because it's funny, we like to cover up the fact that all of us have a hidden past. All of us have some secret, all of us have some sin, all of us have something that we've done that no one else knows. But remember that when you're being praised that you once were in that state. Not to put yourself down, but for you to remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who brought you there. And finally, and I'll conclude in reminding us that this is a journey. This by no means is something that we are going to accomplish. It's going to be a constant struggle. But at least when we die, we'll be dying on the path and struggle for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us among those who can improve upon ourselves and to make the journey to Him easy.